person who played a part in the disappearance of a bucket from Wellington's famous Bucket Fountain has apologised. After being missing for months, the bucket was finally recovered yesterday, but with a new paint job. Now, as Mitchell Alexander reports, Wellingtonians are divided over whether the makeover should stay. Wellington's famous fountain has been missing a bucket since October, until yesterday. It's not in its yellow form, it's been slightly altered. Recovered after it was spotted in a social media post. We handed it on to the authorities and uh, they saw the light eventually, which I think might have been a blue and red flashing light. Despite the good news, Wellingtonians are divided over the modification. Keep it original, I reckon. New version. <laughs> yep. Okay. Even though that person was naughty, and I'm not condoning it. It's yeah. obviously like some cheap cover paint with, uh, I don't know, about the floral design at the back. Now someone else can come and steal it and do something different. Yeah. <laughs> and even the buckets themselves are up for debate. I do prefer the standard <laughs> fountain. Local designers believe the bucket should be restored to its former glory. You could keep the gold one somewhere different and tell that story apart from the traditional bucket fountain, that would be fantastic. But yellow, please. And that's what the council is doing. And we'll be restoring it back to its natural yellow as soon as possible. News Hub's spoken to someone who says they took the bucket after a night out on the town. They've apologised and say they had every intention of returning it, but they couldn't find the right time and were concerned that if they did bring it back, someone else might nick it. People are being asked to not commit a copycat act. Go along and have a look, but keep your hands to yourself and just enjoy getting moist. Wherever that may be, in your bucket list. Mitchell Alexander, News Hub.